We're going to be talking about the three things you guys are talking about in the sports world this week. And for thing number one, Phil Mickelson shanks it. So Andy, this one's going to hit close to home for you. So there's the Saudi Arabia Super League that was attempting to attract the world's top golfers with millions and millions of dollars. And it looks like it's going to all crash thanks to one man, Phil Mickelson, who said this, and I quote, they're scary mother efforts to get involved with. We know they killed Washington Post reporter and U.S. resident Jamal Khashoggi and have a horrible record on human rights. They execute people over there for being gay. Knowing all of this, why would I even consider it? Because this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to reshape how the PGA Tour operates. Well, that quote took a turn for the worst, and Andy, you did write about it in this week's For the Win article. Phil Mickelson didn't play in a professional golf tournament this week, but he still suffered the biggest loss of his career. This man is losing sponsorships left and right. So Andy, my question for you is, is his career over with? His career is, I can't believe what's happened to it in the last you know week and a half or so. Last May, he was winning the PGA Championship at the age of 51. Everyone in golf loved him, fans, media, players. Oh my God, here's Phil Lefty winning a major. And now here on this day, he sits alone, <laughs> away from golf. He's taken some time to be with his family after saying, like, you know, I know these, these, those people over there, they, they kill journalists, they kill people for being gay. But here's why I want to join them, to help strengthen the PGA Tour. It was the most tone-deaf, disgusting statement he could have made. And thankfully, a lot of golfers, including Rory McIlroy and others, came out this past weekend and denounced what, what Phil had to say. Uh, it's told him that it was a dumb thing to say and said they're not going to that league, thankfully. Like, that league now is pretty much over. And... Phil Mickelson's career and his legacy is tarnished forever. Why? Because Phil loves to talk and finally talking really is paying a price for his career. Speaking of things going south, for thing number two, locked out. So we are less than a week away from March, Andy. Spring training should be in full swing, right? It should be, sadly it's not. Here's our own Bob Nightingale with the latest on the labor situation. Well, Major League Baseball in the Players Association are not even remotely close to reach an agreement uh, to perhaps save the start of the regular season. MLB told the players that if no agreement is reached by Monday, February 28th, the regular season will be delayed and those games will be canceled and not made up. If those games are canceled, the players will be missing out on their pay. But these two sides have met for three consecutive days in Jupiter, Florida, him gone nowhere. They still remain far apart on virtually every single economic issue. First off, Andy, are we actually surprised about this? Secondly, I feel like they have to get a deal done ASAP, literally and figuratively, because baseball cannot afford a lockout. Yeah, baseball cannot afford a lockout. There's no one that dislikes baseball more than the owners of all the Major League Baseball teams. I don't know what they're doing. Like, they're going to... Like in this day and age, 2022, baseball every year takes hits because it's just other sports are passing it by. It's not a hidden secret. Like you need to be playing baseball right now to keep your fandom going because there's just too much stuff going on. And fans right now are going, hey, why aren't we playing baseball? What is going on here? And other fans are going, baseball is supposed to be going on? Like the worst thing to be is not to be ignored, it's to be forgotten. And the longest, the longer MLB goes on with this, the more they're gonna be forgotten by most of the fans. The diehards will be there, sure, but those diehards are becoming lesser and lesser in numbers. So MLB, like, what do you wanna do? Do you wanna be continue being like a real sport people care about? Or do you wanna be a joke that no one even pays attention to? It's totally up to the owners and it's time to get it done. Yeah, I couldn't agree more with you. And finally, moving on to thing number three, we fire up the Rogers radar. It's been a little while, but we got it back, Andy. So the end of the off season is here, which means another round of cryptic Aaron Rodgers social media posts. This one may take the cake. So his latest post, he had a card saying, quote, gratitude is wine for the soul. Go on, get drunk, unquote. <laughs> he went on the Pat McAfee show and also said he hasn't made a decision on his future, but and it feels like we're in another off season of drama with Aaron Rodgers. I I'm kind of tired of it, to be honest. Yeah, I'm tired of it too. And that gratitude thing I saw on Instagram the other day, that's like, I predict he's gonna end up selling protein mixes to people on Facebook that don't <laughs> want to get these protein mixes. Cause we all have those friends out there who are like, I'm gonna post my gratitude oh. quote every morning and then I'm gonna sell you some yeah. wee protein that you don't want. Or, you know, this is gonna make your skin look better that you don't want. Like Aaron Rodgers, knock it off the gratitude post. 
we get it. Like you're this deep critical thinker who doesn't read Atlas Shrugged, but has the book in your house just in case you want to get to it. And at the end of his big thing the other day, he said, also read a book if you got time. Oh, okay, Aaron Rodgers. Thanks for telling us to read books. You know what I'm not going to read is stuff about you for the next six months because we know how this is going to play out. He's going to be Aaron Rodgers like, oh, I don't know if it will come back. I might come back. Packers fans are going to go, is he going to come back? What's going to happen? And then in August, he'll report. Yeah, in August, he'll report to the Packers because that's what he does. It's the right place for him to be. And come on, Aaron Rodgers. But just please stay away from quotes about gratitude on Instagram. Not good for anybody. (laughs) All right. We're just getting started on this topic. Up next is our NFL straw poll on the biggest questions this offseason. 